Hey quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday. Christina's in the house, how are you my friend? I'm good, how are you? Good, anything new and exciting in your life? Oh, well, this weekend my mother got her very first smartphone. Yeah. Which it's 2021, so we yes. were all, you know, it was a little overdue. So we had iPhone school all iPhone night Saturday. School. It was great. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> and dad was there too. Did he yes. have iPhone school too? Yep. He's had one for a minute, but my mom had one of oh. those like old slider T9 yeah. phones for the last like decade. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> we're glad that they're part of the 21st yes, century me now. too. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Hey, quilters, the quilt behind Christina is called Go Dinosaur Parade Wall Hanging. It's so cute. Okay, it is super cute. Actually, it's one of my all-time favorite quilts. Um, super cute for a kid's room because here's why. It has dinosaurs and flying geese. Yes. That's it. It's so yep. easy. So shapes four and five from the eight inch cube make five mm -hmm. uh, flying geese. Actually four and five from any cube make fi uh, flying geese. I love the raw edge quilting around the dinosaurs. It's I so do fun. too. I just think it is so cute. And I love the primary colors, the red, mm -hmm. white, and blue. Yes. Yeah, green. It's really cute. All right. Where's everyone watching from today? Watching from LA, say hi to Mason. He's there for three more days. Oh goodness, we had Katrina say, sorry I'm late, just had a tornado stop by for a visit. All is well, except the power's off from Missouri. I'm so sorry. Goodness. But your phone must be working. <laughs> Look at you watching us during That's tornadoes. Dedication. It is that time of year here in Nebraska. <laughs> we know all about tornadoes. We had thunderstorms this morning. Um, the chicken brine's chickens don't like thunderstorms. No? No. <laughs> 6 13 this morning, they were clucking. <laughs> all right, quilters, did you love the projects in our countdown video? Let's take a look up at a couple of them. Okay, this is such a great project. This is using the uh, Crazy Quilt, and it's by Cindy C. And Christina and I, we both love it, and we think this is great because you like the borders between it, right? Yes. The sashing. Yes, I feel like and it breaks it up a little bit, kind of makes it look like a stained glass window a little bit. Yes, and those cornerstones are beautiful. Good job, Cindy. Okay, next we have Exploding Heart by Louise T. All right, this is not a pattern from AccuQuilt, but I have seen a hundred exploding quilts yes. of you on social media. Yes. And we'll post the link. It's one of um, her name or her username is Slice of Pie. So Slice we'll post the link. I think she's got AccuQuilt um, instructions too. So. Excellent. So totally use our cubes. Oh, yeah. um, you could use any cubes. You just need squares and half square triangles and quarter square triangles. There's a die for all of that. Finally, we have Starry Path. Uh, by Wendy H. Okay, first of all, Wendy, we love the colors of yes. this, like that green and that mint green. And what did you call the border between them? Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> fancy like fancy borders. Border. <laughs> it's really cool. Good job. No, it's beautiful. Quilters, if you want the chance to be featured on our intro video, feel free to share an image of your completed quilt. You can send us a private message here on Facebook, or you can just post it to our Facebook page. All right, Christina, give mm -hmm. us the update on flamingos. Oh, there are so few left. There are so few left. Yes. We had a whole flock of them. So while we talk about how you can make sure you get one, um, I'm going to cut one. So we're going to cut a wing and a flamingo and his beak. Yes. Okay. Don't forget they're limited edition too. So they are, and they go away on um, Friday. Yeah, at the end of the month. Which is the end of the month. You need to use the appropriate size mat, which is not it is a five so by 10 So if you've been waiting. If you've been waiting to get your flamingo, we have just a few of them left. Yes, it's the last Facebook Live we'll be talking about it, so. Yeah, all right, and why we talk about it, let me show you how fast it is to cut one. I do love them. Uh, pretty soon it's gonna be National Flamingo Day, and Christina and I are gonna announce the winner of who named our flamingo oh, yes. and the name. I'm excited, okay. So many good suggestions. There were so many fun suggestions. Ooh, Wendy says her flamingo will be here today. Yay, Wendy, make flamingo stuff. Yes. Share it with us. Hold on here. Yes, they're flying out of that warehouse so fast. They are. Our warehouse team is working super hard yes. out there. We had kind of exciting times here this morning. Okay, can you see our cute flamingo? That's how fast. Uh, Think of how hard it would be to cut them by hand. I could never. No. I'd probably cut off his poor little neck. And his legs would yeah, never be right. because it's so skinny. He's super skinny. He's super skinny. Um, we had some exciting times here this morning because it, uh, we had thorn, uh, thorns. We had thunderstorms. And apparently it's um, 
there's a leak in the warehouse. We, we were doing our little rehearsal and we heard people on the roof. <laughs> very exciting. Which there's like no one in this office ever. So then someone on the roof is Yeah, like... no one ever in the office. So the people in the warehouse working hard, the guy on the roof is fixing the leak. <laughs> All right. So add one of our flamingo dyes to your cart before they fly away on April 30th. All right, quilters, were you expecting cubes today? Well, our response to the newest member of our cube family was so overwhelming, all of our pre-orders are filled. Now don't worry, once we have more of those four inch cubes and companion sets, we'll let you know how to order. Yes. Okay? All right, oh, we didn't talk about where people were coming from. Um, someone said they were watching from their Airstream, which I love. Oh yeah, oh, we were talking about storms. That's that awesome. So <laughs> I love that you're in your camper. We have a dive for that. All right, here's the photo of the day. This is Dinosaur Sue. She lives in Chicago. They moved her since we saw her. Um, she used to be at the Natural History Museum and now she's in a different museum oh. in Chicago, but this is Dinosaur Sue. And I have a little fun fact about Dinosaur Sue. Um, and the question of the day is, what would you make with our dinosaur dye? So since they're not cubes, we're gonna talk about our dinosaur projects, all right? So what would you make? Christina, what would you make? Oh, my friend um, has a three-year-old named Maisie and she loves everything like dinosaurs, monsters. So I, I feel like she that. needs like a, little, like a little bed quilt or something she like does. that. Or even like sew it on a shirt for her. I think oh she'd yeah, love... you could applique one on like a jacket oh, or yeah. something. You could make a little bag, a little tote bag. Yeah, to carry and... all our stuff. Yeah, kill her. Yeah. Okay, so in the comments section, tell us what you do with our dinosaur dye. Okay, it's Wednesday and you're our AccuQuilt Live family. So of course we have a special promo for you today. You're gonna take, listen to this number, 25% off your order when you spend $50 or more. And we're gonna ship it to you free if you live in the contiguous US. The code you want to use today is April 25 at checkout. So quilters, just a few more sleeps until Mother's Day. So maybe today you want to think about adding some um, our Ready, Set, Go mm -hmm. into your cart for mom for Mother's Day. Okay, so right there, Chelsea, um, we'll talk about all, the shape, all of the pieces in the Ready, Set, Go. So it comes with our Go fabric cutter, which is super easy, lightweight, portable, weighs about 15 pounds. Two and a half inch strip dye. Why, Christina, what do we make with two and a half inch strips? Everything. Everything, borders, binding, sashing, jelly rolls. Uh, a 10 by 24 mat, because Christina, what happens if you try to use it out without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. <laughs> An eight inch cube, and we're gonna show you the shapes in the cube today. So eight inch cube, really popular size. Our good friend Eleanor Burns wrote this great book called Go Cube. It's a pattern book for projects and quilts using the cube system and a little die pick to keep all of your dies clean. Yes. So the Ready, Set, Go comes in one big package, okay? Um, so how much is it today with that 25% off, Christina? So it's $124 off, oh, which is incredible. So, so it's only $337. $337, and we're going to ship it to you free. Okay, the code is April 25. All right, today I'm gonna give away one of our Go Dinosaur dies to one of our lucky viewers. You wanna share this video on your personal Facebook page for the chance of, to win. Morgan's gonna pick a winner at the end of the show. Christina's gonna announce it. We're gonna clap. <laughs> All right, today's project is this cute little um, project. It's called the Go Dinosaur Petrified Forest. You say, oh, there we go. Thank you, Miss Chelsea. It's so cute. It's a free downloadable pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Now, we were talking about this, that petrified has different meanings, right? Mm -hmm. So in this one, Christina, it means like what? I would think like prehistoric or like, you old. know. Old. Old. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I was saying petrified like you were afraid, but maybe both apply here because maybe you're, in the olden days, you were afraid of dinosaurs. Here we go. So or it was so the old, petrified for us. <laughs> before it was old. All right, you're gonna need the Go Dinosaur Die, our Go Cube Mix and Match six inch block, and our six inch companion set angles, okay? So let's open up the angles real quick and show you what's inside. This is the Go Fabric Cutter. We're gonna use it today. This is part of that Ready, Set, Go. All right. Our, all right, Christina, while I'm opening this up, tell me what people would wait, make with our dinosaur die. Ooh, so Nancy says that she would make a Jurassic Park seam with the dinosaur and Pam's pickup truck die. I love that. 
I bow to you. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I think dinosaurs and gnomes should go fun. together. Like you could make a caveman kind of gnome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I got to open the companions first. Here, look at me talking about stuff first. We're going to open the companions first because we always talk about the cube system. So this is our companion set angles. We have two of them, uh, corners and angles. This is for the six-inch cube. Quilters, we have six different sizes of cubes, four, six, eight, 9, 10, and 12 inch finished blocks. They are the same eight shapes, they're just different sizes. Each cube has two companion set corners and angles. This is the one we're gonna use today, angles. So here's my first tip of the day. Um, when you open it up, you wanna pull this little one first. How come, Christina? So you don't break a nail. So you don't break a nail. Important things. Okay, um, in this little one that you're gonna pull first is a DVD. Um, it has a cutting mat and a pattern book. Christina, what happens if you don't have a DVD player anymore? Where can you see this? Oh, all the videos are on YouTube. All the videos. Yep, there's playlists so that you can see all of the instructions, things like that. Yep, yep. So if you're like me and only have a gaming system, because <laughs> people who are younger than me live there, that's where you go. All right, so here we go. We're going to open this up. So this is our companion set angles. And the two shapes that you need in here are shapes 13 and 14. So Christina, what is shape 13? 13 is the, which one's 13? Right here. Oh, the triangle. What kind of triangle is it? Isosceles. Isosceles triangle quilters. Sometimes they think it's an equilateral triangle and it's not, okay? And then this AccuQuilt calls this, I have to read it, triangle in a square sides, okay? I call it a half rectangle, and I'll show you why. So these two shapes together make the block triangle in a square. These are the ones I'm gonna need today. Um, to finish out the cube, we have shape number 15, which is which shape, Christina? The kite. Kite, and what do you love about kite? All of it. It's All so of pretty. It. It's so pretty, and it's a great way to bust up your stash mm -hmm. and your scraps. Um, if you have a charm square in your stash, Boy, this is a great die to use that with because then the kites can all be different. Yes. And the outsides are the same. Um, so the side you're going to need for it is this shape 14. Okay. And then it's going to equal a square. And then the next shape in the companion sets angles is the shape, which is trapezoid. Um, I've never cut a trapezoid by hand because why would I? <laughs> would you? No. No. Goodness there's no. A, there's a die for that. <laughs> okay. So these are the four shapes in the companion set angles. Remember the same, uh, same shapes in every cube. They're just different sizes. All right, so I'm going to put it right back here. All right, and let's cut some fabric, shall we? I like it when we cut things. All right, so I'm going to use my Go fabric cutter today. Again, think about Mother's Day. It's just here in a minute. Christina, what are you getting your mom for Mother's Day? Um, I bought her a phone case for her yes. brand new phone. <laughs> An iPhone school. <laughs> so that it doesn't break. Yes. Because it's brand new. <laughs> yes. Because she's going to drop it. Yes. Okay. Probably a bunch. Okay. So the first shape I'm going to show you is this shape. This is triangle and a square sides. Okay. Now, there's a trick to this. There's a blade right here in the middle. And look, we've cut off the dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. Oh, there we go. There's the seam. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to take your fabric. Oh, remember how I said I thought I was missing something? This is what I'm missing. Over there, Christina, will you grab it for me? Is the black and gray, black and white fabric that's just right over there on the ironing board. Or Chelsea can grab it for us. <laughs> I'm standing here going through all my fabric going, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, there should be a long skinny piece of black and white. Sure, whatever you grab. We'll make it work. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yes. So while Chelsea's grabbing it for me, thank you, dear. Perfect. Um, here's what you want to do. You want to measure from here to here at a quarter of an inch um, with on either side and just rough cut your fabric width of fabric, okay? So let's do that here. Look at this cute fabric. Christina, I could use this fabric in so many things, <laughs> okay? So I have my little ruler. So I'm just gonna measure from here to here. It's three and a half inches. So I'm just gonna take my ruler and rough cut four inch width of strip, width of fabric strip. Okay, this is the only time I'm gonna let you use a rotary cutter. 
So, all right. And then what we're going to do, quilters, when we talk about fan folding, this is what we talk about. All right, so I'm going to barely cover my shape. And then I'm going to go back and forth across the die. Christina, how many layers of cotton can we cut? Six. Six layers of cotton. But what other fabrics could you cut? Oh, gosh. You could do felt. You could do leather. If you're Flannel, doing like a single one. pork. Okay. So now some of you are already stressed about this little tail. Don't be. Um, there are no blades inside the cutter. The blades are all in the die. Okay. So I'm going to just run this here. And I'm going to turn it this way. Now, when I fan folded it, I wanted to do it in equal numbers because there is a left and a right side to our petrified forest. All right. Now, static built up. It is so static in here today. All right. So now look. All right. I have a left and a right, a left and a right. If I had them all facing up, you would only have rights, and then you'd be crabby about that. Okay. All right, Christina, what are people saying they make with our dinosaur die? Oh, there's so many good ideas. Um, Linda said she would make um, dinosaur balloons in the park. She'd have oh, a whole, that's super cute. A whole scene with Sunbonnet Sue and Sam, houses, trees, flowers. Oh, see, you guys are so clever. Um, let's see. Noreen said she would put the dinosaurs on a kid's umbrella. Oh, that's a great idea. Uh, in Deb England, we call those bumper shoots. Deb says a dinosaur pocket pillow so the kids can put their little plastic dinosaurs to take with them. We should make one for Chelsea because all these dinosaurs belong to Chelsea. There we go. <laughs> we'll make you one. She needs a tote with dry dinosaurs on it. Yeah, a little tote. All right, cool dudes, don't forget to join me for our next live event on uh, Tuesday, May 4th. They are not going to let me talk about Star Wars on May the 4th. Think about that for a minute. Um, Erica and Lynn and I are going to release our newest die to try. This die will only be available for one month or the month of May or until supplies last, and it's only available at AccuQuilt.com. Sign up in the registration link in the comments section. Why do they want to sign up, Christina? Because that's how we pick our winners for the giveaways. Yes, and we have such fun giveaways. Mm -hmm. We give away dies and so on and so forth. And do we know what it is, Christina? Yes. There's one right over there. <laughs> I know. But it's a secret. We know what it is. It's a secret till tell. Tuesday. All right, so join us, 12 noon central time. Now I'm gonna cut the centers for my little petrified forest. Look how cute these are. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this super slick trick called cut and flip. So I did the exact same thing. I measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch on either side, and I'm gonna take my three layers. Now, if I go back and forth and fan fold, then I'm wasting all this fabric right here. I, I don't want to waste that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right here. And again, we're not worried about this tail because there's no blades inside our cutters, okay? And put it here in my... Now, this is on a 6x6 six six die board, so it could fit through your Go Me or your Go Big or your studio cutter with the appropriate adapter, all of our cutters. Give it a little love, slide, don't lift. And now look, ta-da, centers. We'll show you the orange one so you can see it pretty, okay? So now I'm gonna take this whole stack of fabric and I'm gonna flip it like a pancake. That's what we're having for dinner tonight, Christina, pancakes. Yum, I love breakfast for dinner. We do. And French toast with monkey bread from the, um, man or what's that called, farmhouse. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run it through again, okay, give it a little love, slide that mat, and look, see, now I'm not wasting any fabric, all right, so cut and flip, all right, do the whole stack, all right, so now I'm going to sew some stuff together, ooh, look, hey, don't forget, quilters, we have the little clover iron and the gray wool mats on our website. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna chain piece for days. So I'm just gonna do three of them because otherwise I could just be here all day. Um, we're gonna do the right side first. So Chelsea, can you get a really good shot here um, of showing how we just really got right here from this point here to this point here. 
is that perfect seam allowance. We've cut off the dog ears. Look at that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Christina Wise, so tell us what people are gonna make with their dinosaur dies. Let's see, Bernadette says she would cut two dinosaurs out and make little stuffed animals or finger puppets. Oh, that's a really cute idea. Um, Jan said that she made a dinosaur denim tool apron for a dinosaur crazy little guy. Um, the three pockets um, That is have so cute. Um, That's what Chelsea needs, is a dinosaur tool <laughs> pocket. Alice says, I would love to make a dinosaur quilt for my youngest son. He loves them, but he's 51, and I don't think he would appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen. Um, he Mich might. Michelle said her son had a dinosaur-themed party when he was younger. She could have made pennants, invitations, games. Oh, we have a pennant die. You could. You could put our dinosaurs on our pennants. Yeah. That's a great idea. Look at me chain piecing. It's what I like to do. I do like the idea of a pennant. That's a great idea. I wonder if there's a National Dinosaur Day. I bet there is. I feel like maybe that's Dinosaur Sue's birthday. Okay, so now I've just chain pieced for days. Came my little quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna tell you quilters, you wanna press your seams open. It takes a little more time, but you're gonna find that works. So there were a couple questions um, when you sent that die through the cutter. Yeah. Um, that label wasn't facing you. Um, I wondered if anybody was gonna catch that. <laughs> oh goodness, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, quilters, here's what I always tell you. Label at your belly, lengthwise grain, right? The most important thing is to have the lengthwise grain. And since I cut that lengthwise strip, I could have measured it here and done it, mm -hmm. but I get more use if I do it this way. So label at your belly lengthwise grain is to remind you about the lengthwise grain. There's an exception. We're gonna talk about it today, but it's more important to have that lengthwise grain. Good catch. I just wondered if anybody would catch it. Oh, goodness, yes, Pam. There's Good. a bunch of questions. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us all honest. <laughs> yeah, as long as you've got, that lengthwise grain is what's important. But I think right. we just say, label it your belly lengthwise grain to help. Like, yes. Kind of yes. like the low and wonky, high and tight. Kind right, of. and we do that, right? If we do lengthwise grain, or if we do with the fabric, mm -hmm. here it is. So we'll do the low and wonky, high and tight. I mean, Oakley does this. Okay, so low and wonky, lots of stretch here. High and tight. There it is. So this is the salvage edge. It's going to be parallel to that salvage edge. Nice and tight. Why do you want the high and tight, Christina, not the wonky? Oh, because if you have the wonky side, it's more likely to stretch and kind of shift around. But if it's that nice tight, then it cuts that shape super accurately. Yep. Every single time. Good oh. job, quilters. Thanks for watching. Pam, National Dinosaur Day is June 19th. Seriously? Yeah. Is that a Wednesday? Is it a Wednesday? <laughs> June 23rd is, so I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Okay, all of you people, June 19th. What did we do? Well, I can tell you what we did before there was an internet. We read books called encyclopedias. <laughs> okay, so now I've done one side. I'm going to do the other and just chain piece here. All right, Christina, what else are people making with their dinosaur dies? Patty said she would cut some of that sticky back vinyl and stick it to balloons for a dinosaur themed party. Oh, that would be really cute. That's a good idea. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. Sorry, June 15th and June 1st are National Dinosaur Day. Is one of those a Wednesday? There's some, con there's some confusion Is in it? the comments. I think there might be multiple dinosaur days. Okay. We could just make it up, right? We could just say it's AccuQuilt's Dinosaur Day. We could call it that. I like go. that. There's a day for everything. Okay. See how I'm just doing that? I'm just adding that other side. I'm just chain piecing. Um, I'm going to tell you, quilters, if you were making the little petrified forest, uh, you would you could use any size cube, right? Your blocks would just be bigger. Oh, the June one is for the UK. Oh, hey, our followers in the UK, thanks for watching. They celebrate National Dinosaur Day on June 19th. Apparently in the US, it alternates between May 15th and June 1st. Do you know Mother's Day is different in the UK than it yes. is here? And Thanksgiving, but Father's Day is the different. 
I don't think they celebrate Thanksgiving. No, I was thinking Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Canada Day. Okay. All right, here we go. So now I've made my little petrified forest. Look how cute they are. Okay. And when you sew them together, this is what it's going to look like. All right, quilters ask me all the time, which AccuQuilt products and dyes should they buy first? So Christina, what would you answer to say? I would say, so probably a cube. Yes. For sure, and probably a strip die. So yes. that ready, set, go is like the perfect beginner's everything. Yes, two and a half inch strip, for sure. Yes. Um, and the ready, set, go has the eight inch cube and this cutter. And the book. I think the book is a really big selling point for that one too, because it's such a beautiful education piece too. It is. And Eleanor Burns, there's great graphics in there and yes. patterns and it's just fabulous. So and it's Mother's so on Day sale. is in just a minute. Yeah, it's so on sale today. It's only three thirty seven. Yeah. And we'll ship it to you free. Yeah. Or we could ship it to your mom free. Okay, right? You can build one place and ship it to another. I have no idea. We do. Probably. Yeah. We're we have oh, a ship it to your mom. I bet you said ship it tomorrow. I can't hear. No, ship it to your mom. <laughs> I'm so stuffed up. <laughs> Allergies. It's all bad. Okay, we're going to open up a cube, show you what's inside. We're going to use the six-inch cube for this, but again, the shapes are the same in every cube. They're just different sizes. All right, pull the skinny one first so you don't break a nail. It's going to have a DVD and a mat and a book. Okay, little pattern book. The first four shapes, so there are eight shapes in the cube. All of our geometric shapes have a quarter inch seam allowance built in. So if Christina says to me, hey Pam, I need a five inch square, I'm gonna say, ooh, do you need a five inch square or five inch finished yes, square? We get Those questions like that a lot. Two different dives. Mm -hmm. Okay, what doesn't have our quarter inch seam allowance built in? What kind of dies? The applique? Applique shapes, because they're meant to be, you know, raw edge quilting right. or, or free embroidery downloads. Okay, but our strip dies all do quarter inch seam allowance. Quilters, when you store your dies, you want to store them like books on a shelf. So look at this. This is how you should store them. All right, the cube system is based on a four patch system. So Christina, shape number one in every cube is what shape? A square. A square. Four of these sewn together in this case would be an eight or a six inch finished block. Don't think, oh, I'm getting the eight inch cube, it's gonna have eight inch blocks. There's some sewing involved, yes. right? Shape number one is a square and it's what we need today. So I'm gonna pull it out. Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. So right here, there's a blade in the center. All right, now the shapes sewn together are always gonna equal shape number one. So four of these sewn together would equal shape number one. Now in every die, there's also a pattern. So here's our little pattern. Good job, Miss Chelsea. So the pattern is kind of a quilt by number system. If I wanted to make this block right here, I would just need shapes two, three, four, two, three, and five. So I would pull out dies two, three, and five. This tells you how many of each shape you need to cut, and this tells you the yardage for one block. Why do we only tell them one block, Christina? Because we don't know what they're making. No, are you making a table runner? Maybe you're making a wall hanging? So you'll just have to multiply it by like however many you'll need, that kind of thing. However many blocks. On the back, this is foreign to all quilters. These are called sewing instructions. As quilters, why do we not read the instructions? We just think, oh, I don't know. I don't know, we just do. But these tell you how to sew the blocks together so the points come together and the blocks finish perfect. Okay, so that's shape number two. Shape number three is my all-time favorite shape, half square triangles. Um, we've cut off the dog ears, no puppies involved. This point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. Remember the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. Shape number four are quarter square triangles. You can remember they're quarter square triangles because they're in shape number four. So those are the first four shapes of our cube. And here's the next four shapes. So in every cube there's big squares and little squares, big half square triangles, and shape number five, which are small half square triangles. Look at how small those are. They're so tiny. I know, I like them, okay? Um, this is kind of our workhorse die. It's gonna allow other shapes to become new shapes. For example, shape number six is square on point, not just a square, 
but a square on point. So Christina, what's the shape we need on the outside of this to create the black square in a square? Half square triangle. Half square triangle shape number five, look at that. And those sides are the perfect like hypotenuse of the triangle. That's why it's a little bit different than that shape one. Hypotenuse, it's the word of the day. Use it three times, okay? And then shape number seven, we laugh about this all the time. Uh, parallelogram, because I don't even know how to cut them by hand. Um, and shape number five on the top and the bottom of that will equal a rectangle. So you're going to say to me, Pam, gosh, how big is that rectangle? Well, guess what? In every cube, shape number eight is a rectangle. Okay? All right, two are on this die board. So quilters, remember, we're making um, flying geese in that quilt behind Christina. Shapes four and five in every cube make flying geese. How big are they? equal to the size of the rectangle. All right, so now I do have the right fabric. We're going to cut um, three and a half inch squares, okay? So again, I've measured from here to here, subcut my fabric. Look at Christina, it's like disco fabric. Ooh, it's shiny. I love that. I know, I think it's so cool, okay? And for all of you watching, there's the label, there's my belly. And high and tight. Here's how you remember it. Your belly is high and tight. Just go with it. Okay? And I'm going to fan fold back and forth. How many layers of cotton can I do, Christina? Six. Six. Put my six by six cutting mat. Why don't I want to use my bigger mat, Christina? Oh, because it'll like slide around and you won't get that perfect cut. You could slip yeah. off. It, it's a it's, mess. It's just a mess. Okay, now with our go cutter, you can run the dies both directions. Um, I always put it towards Chelsea. Here we go. Give it some love. Slide, don't lift. And look, ta-da. We have cut um, our squares. So let's pull these out here. Oh, we have a minute. I'll cut some, or I'll sew some squares. Christina, tell us what people are um, making with our dinosaur die. Oh, so many things. Um, let's see. Someone said they would put it on a beach towel. A beach towel would be so fun. That. Um, Peggy said she'd love to make a puzzle with different parts to the different dinosaurs. Yeah, so one of the things um, that I cut out all the time um, is craft foam. Oh, okay. You know, it's that, it, you buy it at the craft store, it's that little stuff. And um, when Oakley comes to help me test dyes, she does. She knows all about the dyes. Get a hold of her, she'll tell you all the secrets. Um, like when we were testing the dinosaur die, she cut out dinosaurs out of craft foam. Oh, yeah. And then they stick on the bathtub wall. Oh, perfect. So yeah, you can so you can just play with them in the tub. And, yeah. Yeah. And, tro and, uh, and gnomes were there. It was, <laughs> there was an adventure. As they should be. Okay. So look, I'm just going to put these together. We're just going to sew this row together, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Yes. And that six-inch cube that we're using is on super sale today as well. How much is the six-inch cube? So the mix and match is $54 off, so it's only $164. And then that angle set is $32 off. It's only $97. Excellent. And will we ship it to them free? Yeah, if they're in the contiguous U.S. And what's the code we want to use? April, April 25. 25, right? Yes. Let's see what we're doing here. The other day, I was <laughs> sewing and watching TV, which I often do, and that bobbin thread ran out for so long. No. I'm just chain piecing <laughs> like I love to do. That's the worst. I know. Hold on here, my little thread is... My little thread is coming threaded. All right, so what else will people do for us, Christina? Let's see. Um, Kathy said she would make a little snuggly hand blinky. Oh, that's a cute idea. That'd be really cute. Let's see. Um, someone's asking how many layers of craft foam we can cut. Uh, two. Awesome. Two is the magic number yeah, there. Yeah, I wouldn't say, don't go too far over that, otherwise it might get a yeah, little crazy. Yeah, because then what happens is it gets stuck, and then you're going to call customer service, and the first thing they're going to say is how many layers, and you're going to pause. Oh, um, it helps if I look in the right way. Terry from YouTube says this is her first live. Hi, Terry from YouTube. Thanks for joining us. And she's contemplating purchasing an AccuQuilt system. 
Okay, ready, set, go. Today's the day. Today is the day. This is your sign if you've been waiting. Yes, and Christina, <laughs> like they can watch videos on how to use our cutters, right? Everywhere. Oh, goodness, yes. All of our Facebook Lives live on our YouTube page, our Facebook page, our website. Mm -hmm. We've got so many YouTube videos, you could just watch us for days. You could. You could spend the whole weekend watching Christina. And I. Yeah, you could spend the whole weekend with us. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun. That's that's a great thing. So our AccuQuilt system, 90% faster than rotary cutters or scissors. Mm -hmm. Because for me, before I worked for AccuQuilt and before I was part of the team, I it, that was the part that took the most time. That's the part, if sure. I was going to make a mistake, that's where I was going to make it. So... Um, Erica and I did a fun little video yesterday of she cut out pieces from a die and I cut them out by hand. It was ludicrous, the amount of time it took me to oh, cut I them. Oh, I bet. I couldn't imagine. Okay. All right. So here we go. Look at this. Um, I'm going to make my little petrified forest block and then you're going to add the little top. So when you sew it together... This is what it's going to look like. Okay, we had this great conversation. What else does this look like, Christina? I thought mountains or like volcanoes. Mountains or volcanoes. I thought it looked like a castle. And then we should have gnomes. There we go. Storming the castles. But the new gnome, the gnome die now has a free embroidery download that has the gnome S, which oh. is the girl gnome. And she has a braid. So if you have an embroidery machine. It could be Rapunzel. She can be Rapunzel. So many things we think of here. Today I'm gonna to give away one of our Go Dinosaur dies to one of our lucky viewers. Share our video and your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Morgan's gonna pick a winner at the end of our show. Christina's gonna announce it and we're gonna cheer. Hey, don't forget Quilters, AccuQuilt has a blog. It is a place to find inspiration, tutorials, and patterns. Christina, right, they're, on, they're patterns only for our yes. Bloggers. Yeah, so there's like tutorials to show you how to put it together, and then you can follow that to make the patterns. Right. Um, and you can sign up to get reminders, right, when a new mm -hmm. blog goes live. Yep, I always get an email right when we have a new blog post that comes out. I do too. <laughs> Erica writes about us, so yes, I have does. to read those kind of things. Um, you can meet our go-getters and get to know the team behind our brand. Join in conversations that our community is having right now. Also, quilters, don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook, YouTube, and our website mm -hmm. platforms. So if today you're thinking, how did Pam do that little cut and flip thing? You can come back and watch it. Always. Yep, that's where they live. Okay, now it's time to cut dinosaurs. Our dinosaur die has three distinct shapes. Do you know them, Christina? The brachiosaurus. The Which is the long neck. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. And then the T-Rex. And the T-Rex. And the eye. The eyeball. The eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Now remember, label it to belly, lengthwise green. The first exception are strip dies. The second exception is applique. So I have pre-fused my fabric, and now there's you don't have to worry about that lengthwise green, right? Because it's nice and tight. Now, pre-fuse your fabric first. Um, this is such a great way to use your scraps. Here at AccuQuilt, we have a product called Soft Fuse. That's what I'm using today. Christina, is it part of the 25% off? I believe so. Throw it in your cart. Get you some Soft Fuse, okay? It's available on our website. Now, depending on which way you want your dinosaur to go, oh, let's cut some T-Rexes. You could put your fabric facing up or facing down. So if they were fighting, you could put one up and one down. You have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric, okay? So if I'm using pre-fused cotton, I can only use four layers, okay? So I'm going to put my mat on. Ooh, look. Remember, you always want to have the appropriate size mat, but if I'm just cutting one shape, our cutters are only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. So ta-da, I'm going to use my small 6 by 6 mat to cut my little T-Rex. And just for those of you who are wondering, it really does, you can cut both directions. There we go. There we go. Give it some love, slide, don't lift. Look. Here's oh, our so T-Rex. He is so and cute. And I couldn't imagine cutting that like with scissors no. or a rotary cutter. No, you would have to trace it and cut it and uh, nope. I don't know. All right, now we have three um, free embroidery files at AccuQuilt.com. They, if you have an embroidery machine, 
this is a sample of our blanket stitch. So we have a blanket stitch, a motif stitch, and a satin stitch. No embroidery machine, no problem. You could do raj quilting like we did on the quilt behind Christina, mm -hmm. or you could use a decorative stitch from your sewing machine. You would finish, um, you, to follow the pattern to complete and sew your blocks together. Make sure you add that inner and outer border to the top. Our strip dies today, 25% off. Layer the top and the batting and the backing and quilt as desired, you're gonna bind it and ta-da, you're done. Okay, you could totally make this a weekend project. Now, Christina, do they have to use the six inch cube? Could they use the eight inch cube from the ready, set, go? Absolutely. Absolutely, you just have to adjust the fabric requirements. Yeah. And if you want that angles, that's on sale so that you can still make this. If How much is the angles on sale? Um, $97. We're gonna ship it to you free, okay? So think about this, think about Mother's Day. Maybe you're buying for yourself. You want it there before? There go, why not? Yeah, I like two Sundays from now is Mother's Day. Be sure and join Lynn and Eric and I on May the 4th at 12 noon central time. All good things happen at 12 noon central time as we release our newest dye to try. This dye will only be available for the month of May or until supplies last. And it is an exclusive dye available only at AccuQuilt.com. Sign up in the registration link to, um, in the comment section. Why do they want to register? Because that's how we pick our winners. That's All those email we... addresses, that's how we pick our winners, that's how we notify them that they won. Yes, and we have great giveaways yes. this time. All right, and don't forget it's Wednesday, your AccuQuilt Live team, we have that special promo today. Take 25% off your order when you spend $50 or more, and if you live in the contiguous US, we're gonna give you free shipping. You wanna use that code April 25th, which is my brother Brian's birthday. Oh. Um, at checkout, happy birthday to Brian. It was just a few days ago. He's way older than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christina, do we have a winner? Yes, we sure do. All right, drum roll, please. All right, our winner is Crystal Smith Napier. Yay, Crystal, thanks for joining us today. Uh, Morgan is going to reach out to you. She's going to send you that cute little dinosaur die. Be sure and share your projects with us, quilters. You can share them with us on your face on our Facebook page, and you too can be part of our AccuQuilt Live events. All right. Now, one last fun fact about Dinosaur Sue. Um, in August 1919. Dr. Hendrickson, she was a paleontologist, had just wrapped up her summer field session, and she and her team were preparing to head home, but a flat tire left them stranded at, the, at a field site. While they waited, Dr. Hendrickson and her team took a walk along the foot of a nearby small cliff face. Small fragments of bone on the ground caught her attention and drew her eyes upward to where larger bones stuck out of the cliff face, just waiting for a curious paleontologist to happen along. That's a true story. Dr. Hendrickson and a few other members of the expedition decided to spontaneously extend their field se season, no kidding, and unearth her find. It turned out to be worth the effort, a T-Rex skeleton, 90% intact and in excellent condition Yes, Sue, you don't look a day over 65 million. Sue's discovery was pure serendipity, followed by lots and lots of hard work. So isn't that a fun story? I love that. I think it's great. And speaking of serendipity, that's our topic for next week's AccuQuilt Live. We're gonna open up the Serendipity Cube, which is a standalone cube by our good friend Adida Sitar, and we're gonna show you what's inside. We're gonna make a really cool block called the Shooting Star Block. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, Quilters, thanks for joining us today. On behalf of our entire AccuQuilt Live team, we have Leslie and Morgan who are off site. We have Nick upstairs. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Chelsea and Chelsea Graphics and Joe. Mikey is in the City of Angels. We're sending a huge shout out to Mike. Hope he traveled there safely. And of course, my good friend, Christina. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Have a great day, quilters. Mm -hmm.